Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jen, the Caffeinated Crafter. Today is Saturday, May the 25th, 2024, and this is floss tube number 73, I believe. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. This is a channel where I talk about all the cross stitch. And if you're returning to my channel, I'd like to welcome you back. Thanks so much for watching and following along. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot to film today. I'm filming my floss tube right now, obviously. And I'm also going to film a mid-year whip parade where I show you guys all of the stuff that I have worked on over the past like six-ish months. We're still in May, so it's five months really, but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and post it now. <laughs> uh, well, not now, but like sometime this over the next like week or two. And, um, and I'm also going to film a video for picking my summer projects. Um, just a quick recap, in March I decided to try out this whole seasonal stitching thing that I see a lot of people do. So I pulled all of the projects that reminded me of springtime and I like a lot of variety. So I pulled um, enough projects, that was about 30-ish projects. And I have like over 300, so I needed to somehow pare it down to something that was a little bit more manageable to pick from. Um, so I pulled those out, plus I pulled out enough of my non-seasonal stitching to total 100 projects to pick from over the next three months. Um, so spring is winding down. It's hot here all the time, so I don't really see seasons. So it's like spring is winding down. We're approaching summer which starts in June, June 21st, technically, but I'm gonna start pulling seasonal project or summer projects for um, my floss tube. I'm gonna just start that the first video that I film in June. <coughs> um, I may try to film an update. I might, I, I'm gonna try to go back to weekly updates. Um, I'm gonna try to go back to weekly updates this week. So you may get a floss tube from me on Friday because I would be filming on Thursday. So you may get a regular floss tube from me on Friday when it uploads. Um, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and pull two weeks worth of projects today. Just in case I can't film an update. Um, so real quick, while I'm still pretty early in the video, um, I started telling you guys uh, what floss tubers I watched over like since my last video. I want to go ahead and do that now. I want to tell you who I watched um, because I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So if you, so I'm going to tag them in this video and I don't want them to sit here for like an hour and a half wondering why is my name attached to this video. This is why right here. I watched your videos. I'm talking to the ones I'm gonna say. I watched your videos over the past two weeks and I'm letting everybody else know who watches me, who I watch so that they can check you out if they would like to. You don't have to watch my videos if you don't want to. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so the people I watched, uh, and I will have them all tagged in the description box down below um, so you can check them out if you'd like, um, is uh, the Virginia Stitcher, Kel Stitches, Stitching Mommy, Yantina Stitches, Adventures of Stitching, Dizzy Stitcher, Angie Slowly Crafts, and Thread the Needle. Um, I, okay, I'm really bad about remembering stuff about all the floss tubers um, because I watch them while I'm stitching. So I'm like kind of, I'm paying attention to what they're showing. I'm not always paying attention necessarily to what they're saying, like everything. So sometimes I forget like, you know, stuff about them. And I don't want to be talking a lot about one floss tuber and not a lot about the other and think have either them or you guys think I like one more than the other. So I don't really want to say anything about him, but if that, does that make sense? I don't want anyone to feel bad that I didn't really be like, oh, this person, blah, 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 and list off a whole list of things. And because I have been watching them for a long time, or I know them, like I'm friends with them, not in person because we haven't met, but like, you know, through messenger and stuff. Um, and then this other person, I'm like, you know, you know, they're from this country and that's it. You know, like I, so I, 
So I, I'm just not gonna say anything about anybody, but I really enjoy watching all of them. Uh, everybody has different types of projects. Um, like throughout that whole group, there's all kinds of different projects that, that you can uh, that you can see. So that, that entire group that I just listed as a whole has really great variety. Different uh, times with their floss tubes, some are short, some are long, um, but I really enjoy watching all of them. So if you would like to check them out, feel free. And if you are one of the people that I tagged and you're like, who is this chick? You don't have to watch me, it's okay. I'm not offended. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me go ahead and, oh, one more thing. I think I did not show this yet. Um, I picked up, I picked up um, my Krynek that I needed for the Mermaids of the Season Sal from Bella Filipina and, um, Bella Filipina and um, Fiber on a Whim. I was trying to show it without the glare from the bag because I don't really want to pull all these out but that's it. And then I also picked up uh, a book, Cross Stitch with Catitude from Emma Congdon, 20 Possum Designs, all about kitty cats. So I got that. And I'm actually gonna film a flip through of this book um, sometime this weekend. So I'll show you like all the projects that are in it. Um, I have all the other ones. She has She has cross stitch for the earth, cross stitch for the heart, cross stitch for the soul as well, and then cross stitch with catitude. So I have all four, all four of those books now. Um, but I'll do a flip through of that book um, some point uh, this weekend and go ahead and upload that as well. <sighs> okay. There's like so much. There's so much. Okay. Here's my board. I didn't write done on anything because I kind of got to the point where right now I'm like, if I work on it, I'm gonna say that it's a it's a goal met. But here's my board. Um, I worked on 13 projects, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Yep, I worked on 13 different projects. So I've got 13 whips to show. Actually, I have 12 whips to show because I gotta finish you guys. I gotta finish, woohoo! Okay, so what am I gonna show first? Let me do this, I because I wanna show certain things in a certain order, so we're gonna do it like this. Okay, we're gonna show my stuff first, and then we're gonna do, so we're gonna show my regular whips first, but then I'll show you my finish, and then I'm gonna do my whip of shame, and then my two focus pieces. All right, so first up is, Good Friends. Uh, this is from Sue Hillis Designs, and it says, good friends make each other laugh. Really good friends go for the snort. And um, it just calls for DMC. And I'm doing this on a 32 count Murano in the color Pink Splash. And I'm doing it two over two. And that is how far I got. I got Good friends. I did 500 stitches on this piece. And it's turning out really cute so far. I like it a lot. Really easy to stitch on too. I wanted to do more, but I was done for the night. All right, so there's that piece. Next thing I'm going to show you, I need my tablet for. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is Twisted Band Sampler from Northern Expressions. I got cat hair on my tablet, Mr. Whiskers. Um, Twisted Band Sampler from Northern Expressions. I am doing this two over two on a 28 count white jobelin. I think it's a 28 count white jobelin. Yep. I just gotta find it. Twisted band sampler. Sorry, there we go. No, I don't want I don't want to look back on this day. So that is what it's gonna look like when it's done. Uh, this comes in a uh, fancy 
like a specialty stitch way and also just regular cross stitch. So you can get either just regular cross stitch or specialty stitches. Mine is the regular cross stitch version because I didn't feel like I didn't feel like doing specialty stitches stitches with it. So, um, so I started that and I have one color. So every band is a different color. If you have not seen these yet, um, every band is a different color. So I got the first band done. I'm working on the second one right now, not right now, but now I'm on the second one and I got 520 stitches on it. And I do have this in Pattern Keeper. So I have 520 stitches done out of 21,989 and I am 2.36% complete. I have 70 stitches, 76 stitches left of that second color and then I'll move on to the third one. I don't know where to put anything. Mm -hmm. Let me get this back in the bag. Okay. Next up, let me put this over here. Okay, next up is Spano. So those other two were new starts. That's why you don't see before pictures of them. This one is a whip, and um, I'm going to show you the mock-up without the back stitching. So there will be back stitching on this to finish it off. Um, but of course, Pattern Keeper doesn't support back stitching, so I don't have that on the mock-up. Uh, but this is Spa Gnome, and this is from Cute Broidery Designs. So imagine all of this, like, you know, outlined in detail. <laughs> um, but this is Spa Gnome. And I'm doing this on a 14 count Ada with two strands of DMC. And uh, this is on a, a piece of the Charles Craft Ada that you can pick up at uh, any of the big box stores. Um, and this one is like the pinky purpley one. And so that is where I'm at with it so far. So for the cross stitching, I have I oh so the pat over the past two weeks I did 422 stitches and I have a total of 2,121 stitches done out of 5,479 plus back stitching. I am at 38.71% done of the cross stitching. Super easy to stitch, really cute piece. I like it a lot. I like a lot of her gnomes. I actually do have quite a few of of the gnomes from Cute Broidery. I just don't have all of them out to work on. Ah! Okay. Next up is a retired chart from Pain Free Crafts. This is Day to Night Tropics by Lars Stewart. Unfortunately, it is no longer available. Um, it is 600 by 430. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I am doing it one over one full cross on a, I think it's a 32, might be 28 count, easy count Lugana. And this is where I'm at with it so far. I'm looking for it on my list here, Day to Night Tropics. I did another 400 stitches on it. So I now have 1,700 stitches done out of 258,000. I am at 0.66% complete on it. And I did an upper left hand corner start, as you can see. So yeah.
really enjoying that. All right, next up is a little freebie chart I had picked up while I was at a retreat last year. I went to stitching in the springs last year. I'm not going this year. I wanted to go, but dollars and time off work. Okay. <clears throat> So this is a little freebie chart I picked up while I was there last year. It's by Margaret Sherry. It's just called Cute Chart. I'm calling it Hedgehog. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, I don't have a, I don't have a uh, percent on it because it's just on that one piece of paper. But I did do 522 stitches. Went ahead and did the back stitching on the little guy's face so that he has a face now. Really cute. And I, so I did the white around here and I brought this done and I also backstitched like this side of the present box. So once I fill, uh, once I fill this in over here, I'll bring the backstitching down and kind of up this way. It's just, I wanted to be able to like, you know, be able to backstitch a bunch at once. And then I'll probably come up here and he's going to have like the top of the box on his head. So there's that, really cute. I'm glad he has a face now. Okay, next up is Bake the World. I am, uh, let me see, hold on. By Franny Ritter Designs, it says Bake the World a Better Place. And I am stitching this on a 28 count coffee Jobelin. 28 count Jobelin in the color coffee by Witch Elf. <laughs> um, it calls for DMC and beads. I do not have the beads. I need to get the beads. I just have to order them. And I'm doing it two over two. This is where I'm at with it so far. I have, Bake the World, I have done 610 more stitches on it. So that is where I'm at with that one. Okay, get to see it a little bit better. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I need to get the beads though, so I can like fill in those cupcakes a little bit better. If I end up pulling this piece to be part of the summer stitching, I'll probably go ahead and do that, order those beads. All right, next up is Mother Nature Spring. This is from Just Cross Stitch Magazine from last year. It was a series that they had. They did a Mother Nature piece for um, every season. And then they did one for Halloween and for Christmas. Um, this one was in April of 2023, Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And this was a new start for me. I'm doing it two over two on a 28 count tea dyed Monaco. I did a center start. That is where I'm at with her so far. And I did 500 stitches on her. So there's that. Really easy to stitch up too. Um, what I ended up doing is um, I have a almost a prescription, subscription to the Readly app. Is it Readly or Redly? I don't know. R-E-A-D-L-Y. Um, so I have a, a subscription to that so that I have access because I am doing um, all of them. And plus I'm also doing a sal in like World of Cross Stitch magazine. And so I it's easier to do that than to try to hang on to physical copies of magazines and then end up losing them and whatnot. 
Um, so I just do that and um, I screenshot the pattern on my phone and then I printed it on my printer so that I can highlight where I worked. And it actually made my life a lot easier than trying to read it off of the phone, which is what I was doing because I was having to flip back and forth between the color and like the legend and the pattern. I was like, let me do it like this. And it was actually a lot easier. Okay, next up is another new start. This is a sal that was going on two years ago. Yeah, 2022 Botanical Blackwork Sal from the Steady Thread. I don't really have a picture of the finished product. I'm just gonna show you kind of the outline, the layout of the one, because she had two different layouts. So I'm, that's the layout of uh, the one I'm doing. Um, Okay, so like I said, this was a new start. I'm doing it one with I'm doing it with one strand of floss on a 14 count white Ada. And I did botanical black work. I did 600 stitches on it. And let me grab this real quick so I know what color I used. So I did 600 stitches on it. And I got two blocks completed. The one in the middle is block, well, the one with the flowers is block number one. And then the one on the, the bigger one is block number four. She had them going every which way because I think the idea was that you stitch the frame first and then you just randomly go around and fill it in. Um, but I did a center start and I just went ahead and filled in each block in its entirety. Um, the green that I used is 904 and the flowers are in the color 3832. So that's turning out really nice so far. Um, I don't think that this is available anymore. You can check out their, uh, do a search for them on Facebook. Um, I don't know if this one is available anymore. Or if it is, maybe it's available for purchase, I'm not sure. But this was on the Facebook group. Okay. Okay. Next up. What's this? What's this? Oh, this was another new start. This is Home Sweet Home from uh, Design Works. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm using whatever came in the kit, so I'm doing this on a 14 count black Ada. And I did a center start on this one as well. Let me make sure I'm showing you the right direction. Fold it up so it's easier to hold up. There we go. Um, so I did a center start on this as well. That is not, hang on, that's not, it's like upside down. Not that it really matters right this moment because it doesn't really look like much, but there we go, that's better, right? Yeah, okay. That is where I'm at with that so far. I did, home sweet home, I did 504 stitches on it. Unless I'm using whatever came in the kit. Pretty sure that the colors are showing up. When I was doing pictures, it looked like it was red and it's not red, it's pink. The flower is. So, that flower there is where I started. Okay. 
Okay, next. Next is Lighthouse Bookmark. I picked this up in at the, I think I got this at the retreat too. I don't remember if this is one of the ones that my friend Jen picked it up and said, hey, this looks like something you would stitch. Um, I think this might have been it. So thanks, Jen, if that was it. But anyway, um, yeah. So this is what it looked like when I picked it up. And here it is now. It's all done. How cute is that, huh? I ended up doing 884 stitches on it. Uh, because I like I got to my normal stopping point and I'm like god I feel like I'm almost done let me just see if I, I I got to about 500 and I'm like I'm almost done with this thing let me just keep working on it until it's completed so the it's not like as you can see it's not completely backstitched it, that's not it's not meant to be that's how it's supposed to be so but yeah everything is completed on it I am super stoked I just have to finish it into a bookmark and honestly, I'll probably give it to my 11 year old because he's a, he likes to read a lot. So I'll probably end up giving it to him. Okay. Yeah, yay me. So we get to update my, um, my finish board. How exciting. Okay, next up is Honeymoon Sunset. And uh, this is one of my focus pieces this year. I wanted, uh, I'm doing a challenge with Alara to get 25,000 stitches on our respective pieces. She's doing Dragons of the Sabbat um, from Pain Free Crafts. I'm doing Honeymoon Sunset from the Cross Stitch Studio. Um, Honeymoon Sunset is by, oh, you know what? I was gonna do my Whip of Shame before this, but you know what? I'll do that at the end. Uh, Honeymoon Sunset is, like I said, charted by uh, the Cross Stitch Studio. Artwork is by Abraham Hunter. It is 869 by 649. It has 133 colors. I have no idea how many people I have enabled to buy this chart, but I'm loving it. I, like I'm seeing more and more people pop up with like, thanks Jen, I bought this because you, you are so welcome. Cause it is really, as much as I complain about that palm tree in the left hand side, it really is a lovely piece and I like it a lot. Um, it's probably my favorite one out of all of them. Um, so I was behind, where's my board? Where's my little board? I was behind on it and because of when I moved here and so I did not have all the stitching done that I was supposed to have done. I was, the original challenge was a thousand stitches a week and then crap started happening with me, with both me and with Alara. So we agreed to drop it down to 500 a week until we hit 25,000, but we do need to have it done by the end of the year. So dropped it down to 500 and then I went like two weeks without stitching on it. So I was a thousand stitches behind and I gotta, I gotta double check because I ended up writing, oh, because I didn't film for two weeks. That's right. So my last floss tube was two weeks ago. So to catch up, I needed to do, to catch up to what we dropped down to, I needed to do 2000 stitches on it. I was going to throw a couple hundred more in to stay caught up to the, to stay caught up. So now I'm only 200 stitches behind. I did 1,832 stitches. So I'm still behind technically, but if I would have remembered to throw in 200 stitches this morning before I filmed, I wouldn't have been. Um, I So last time I showed this, I said I was going to stay in the upper part of the chart and go across and complete pages. Did I do that? Did I do that? No, I didn't. I ended up going back down to the bottom. I'm just trying to get this. You'll have already seen my starting point by the time I show this. Okay, so I ended up going back down to the bottom right hand corner and I'm doing this two over one half cross on a 25 count easy count Lugana. Um, but that is what I, there we go. That is what I did. I did 1,832 stitches. 
So I came along and got a lot of that done. And I'm gonna show you the whole thing. I'm gonna show this in my whip parade too, so, but I'll probably post my whip parade at a later date. Let me flip this down so I can see better. Oh my God. There we go. That's where I'm at with it so far. Um, I am 187,099 stitches done out of 563,981. I am 33.17% complete on it. So, yeah. So if I film later this week, I will need to have had a thousand, nope, because we dropped it down. 500 plus the 200 I'm behind, so 700 stitches on it. But if I don't film for two weeks, I'll need to have had 1,200 stitches on it. So we'll see. If I can get back into my groove where I stitch a lot, like I used to, um, then I'll probably on my own kick it back up to 500, uh, 1,000 a week just so I can like get it done and be over, have it over with. Because I've learned even just dropping down to two focus pieces, I learned I do not like focus pieces. Like really big ones like this. Okay. Next up is my other focus piece. This is the, whoopsies. This is the Heaven and Earth Design Stitch Along. Um, it is no longer, it's closed, so you can't join it anymore. Um, I joined at the very last minute um, due to peer pressure. Um, but uh, I, so we had multiple projects that we could pick from. So we, um, the one I chose was Merry Mushroom Village Picnic 2. It's a snippet of the Merry Mushroom Village Picnic from Amy Stewart. And it is um, 300 by 205. It has 90 colors total. And I wanna say the total stitch count is like, Three hundred by two hundred five. Total stitch count is sixty one thousand five hundred. I had to pull up my calculator. Uh, if this gets done by the end of the year. I will, if I get mine done by the end of the year, I will get all 10 of the charts. Well, I will get all, they, they had 10 total, but one of the artists, Shana Pike, got retired. So that chart will no longer be available. So she subbed it out for like this lavender gnome, which I thought was really pretty. Um, so I'm okay with that. Um, so if you complete the piece by the end of the year, or if you get four pages done, you get all, all those charts for free. Um, and if you complete the piece by the end of the year, you get all those charts plus two off of the website of your choosing. Uh, so I fell behind with this because of me moving. My stitching had decreased and I started, I started falling behind. And then again, I didn't stitch for two weeks, which put me way behind. So to catch up, I needed to do, to catch up to before my last video, I needed 3,400 stitches. And then adding, because I, I've mathed it out, and if I do 1,200 a week on this, I will have it done before the end of the year. So I needed 3,400 stitches to catch up as of my last video, 
plus 2,400 stitches for um, my normal stitching time frame. So I needed a total of 5,800 stitches. I didn't do that, but I did get a lot done. I did 3,681 stitches. And so I think I dedicated like maybe two or three nights to this. I'm doing it two over one half cross on a 28 count easy count Lugana. And I think what I ended up doing was I dedicated two or three nights to just stitching on this. Um, plus there was a few nights where I went ahead and I want to say there was probably about four nights where I did my hundred stitches on my whip of shame and then I did one thread on this that's why my count is so off um, I did one thread on this and then I pulled out another project um, so my total so far so two parts have been released um, part three is going to be released next week June 1st I believe First part was released at the beginning of the year, then it was April. Maybe it's July. I have to double check. I don't remember if it's June or July, April, May, January, February, March, April, May, June. I think it's gonna be July 1st. Will be part three, July, August, September, and then maybe October will be the part four. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is where I'm at with it so far. So for parts one and two, I have 23,120 stitches done out of 44,315, and I am at 52.17% complete for parts one and two. Once part three releases, that number is going to drop again. Um, and so far for parts one and two, because I have it on Pattern Keeper, um, for parts one and two, I have completed one, two, three, four, five, six, a total of seven colors. So yay me. So I still have 24, about 2,400 stitches to catch up because I did the catch up stitching, but I didn't really do any of the other stitching. Like I didn't do the part that it like, if you think about like what I needed to catch up versus what I needed to actually stitch for the, for the two weeks, I didn't do that part. I just did the catch up stitching. So now I'm behind again, I'm still behind. Um, but I'm just going to keep plugging away at it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I had done at the beginning of last week where I dedicate a day to it, to stitch on it. Like I would normally would. And if I don't film for two weeks, I'll dedicate like two days. Um, but in between, I will go ahead and at least throw in one length of thread on one of the bulkier stitches, like one of the ones, like right now my top three colors are Ecru, which still has like 1,276 stitches, 939 has 1,081 stitches, and 3865 has 959 stitches. And they're all kind of like lumped together. Like it's not like spread out throughout the entire piece. So I might go ahead and grab a length of floss in one of those colors and throw it in before I move on to my stitching for the night to try to help catch back up. Because when I was doing that, I think I was getting about 150 stitches out of one length. So that'll, that would definitely help. That would give me, if I could get like another 100 stitches every day, that would give me like an, an additional 700 for the week. So, um, all right. Last but not least is my Whip of Shame, Frederick. So my Whip of Shame, at the beginning of May, I decided to, I started working on this little guy and I was like, you know what, I wonder Maybe what I should do with this, actually before I started working on him, I was like, you know what? I think what I might do is I'm gonna keep him out all month and I'm just gonna throw in 100 stitches a day on him, about 100. I'm gonna do 100 and if I still have uh, thread on my needle, I'll go ahead and finish that length out. 
um, and just show him a little bit of extra love. And so he is my whip of shame for the month of May. And then I was like, I'm gonna do a whole thing with it. And um, so I'm gonna show you my progress so far. I still have a week of, of May left. So we, um, so I'm still going to keep him out for the rest of the week. And then in June, I will do a new whip of shame. Um, so, this is where he was at the last time you saw him. And this is where he is now. I did a total of 1,294 stitches. There was a couple nights I didn't stitch. Actually, no, I did not stitch last night. And then I wanna say there was one night where I didn't get started until, I didn't start stitching until probably about 9.30 at night. So I was like, let me just work on a project. And I think, I, I think it was um, Honeymoon Sunset where I, I like I started super super late and I was like let me just bang some stitches on a project and so there's technically two nights I didn't put a hundred stitches in on him uh, but so far for the month of May I have done 1938 stitches on him and I have one more week left to work on him I actually have enjoyed working on this which is funny because I don't think I would have enjoyed working on it if I had just pulled him out and worked on him for an evening. I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. But yeah, so far I've done 1,938 stitches on him and I have one more week left to work on him. So. Put him over here, okay. Let's, okay, so let's do this real quick. So what I did, my little board here, so I have my whip of shame here, and then when we pull a new whip of shame, I'm gonna add it right here, um, and I'll keep both of them listed until I film again once I show you my final thing for Frederick. Um, and then um, I have how, how far behind on these, I have to update them, and um, my milestones. So let me do my milestones real quick. So, so far this year, I've done 116 plus, what I say, 13? We're just gonna say, we're just gonna say 13 for right now. I know it's a little off because of, actually no, two more, 130, so, uh, because of Honeymoon Sunset and um, the Hate Cell because I technically got two milestones done on those. So 131 milestones for the year so far. Okay. Let's update my boards. I'm actually going to um, do new boards. Where's my Blue's Clues marker? Where's my marker? There it is. My room is such a mess because I pulled everything out so I could film all these, all these freaking things. Um... Okay, I was like, what was I gonna talk about? Um, so, I'm going to get new boards for my summer pieces. And I'll talk about more about what my goals are for those uh, when I film that video, when I film the summer picks video. Okay, so this is crazy because this is like all of my projects that I have, period. This is not just spring. This is all the projects. So it's a little nuts. We're just doing this for funsies. So I'm gonna do my summer board a little bit differently so we can go back to what we did last year where I went shh like that. Um, okay, so, but for right now, we're just gonna do this. Bake the World is the first one up, which is down here. Here it is. Okay. And botanical black work is right here. And 
Day to Night Tropics is down here. Frederick. What did I say I was going to do with this one? Oh, man. I think I said I was going to mark off one for every week I worked on him. So we'll do two for that. Um, where am I at? Good Friends is on the next board. Yeah, I'm going to do a new board for the summer picks. And we'll have, uh, I'm going to cut it down to working on it two times for a non-seasonal piece and three times for a seasonal piece. And I still won't have all of them done, but okay. What am I looking for? Good friends, right? Yeah. Good friends right here. Hang on, this is stupid. What am I doing? Let me move it down a little bit. There we go. Hedgehog. There he is. Okay, there's that. Um, home Sweet Home is right here. And Lighthouse Bookmark. Now this one, because I finished it, Actually, we can just do it like this. What? Because that piece is done. I've marked through that shit multiple times. That piece is done. How exciting is that? Uh, Mother Nature Spring is up here. And Spa Gnome is on board number three. Down here. <sighs> Twisted band sampler. There we go. Okay. Honeymoon Sunset, I did, okay, Honeymoon Sunset, I'm going to have to mark down that, uh, like, because I'm still 200 stitches behind, so Honeymoon Sunset, these blocks represent 1,000 stitches each, so I did 1,832, so I'm going to fill in one of these for the 1,000, and then I'm going to fill in half of one for 500 of it. And then once I do the other 200 to catch up, then we'll fill, we'll fill that whole block in right there. So that's where I'm at with that. So I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 7,500-ish 7, stitches to finish this challenge. Um, and then the Haid Cell, I did 3,681. Each one of these is 1,200 stitches, so there's 52 blocks, one per week, so 1,200 stitches per block. So this is 1,200, 2,400, one more, right? 3,600, but I'm still behind. So the extra 81 stitches will kind of, it will just kind of get morphed into like when I finally get caught up. Um, but yeah, there's that so far. Now the last thing, my finishes. <laughs> I said in my whip parade that I wanted to finish 135 projects. That's a lie. But I did finish my second project so far this year. Pathetic, I know. And then I adjusted it and said, well, let me see if I can finish 20 projects. I seriously doubt that's going to happen because of how I work on stuff. But we're still going to pretend like I'm going to. That 
There's finish number two. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so. Pause for one second. Okay. Um, forgot to get my basket. My baskets. Okay, so what I did was, okay, so for the Whip of Shame, for the um, month of June, I have all of my Whips of Shame, which it, it's not a lot. It's only, it's a total of 16, I think. And um, what I'll do is I'm going to pull two of them out. I'm going to show you, this is where you have to participate. Um, I'm going to pull two whips of shame out and I'm going to show you which one, which two they are. And I want you guys to tell me which one you want me to do for the month of May or for the month of June. Frederick is not in this basket because I just worked on him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to pare it down and then once I get towards the end of the year, I'll probably like, you know, start kind of rotating them back through again. Um, maybe, or maybe I'll just wait until I get through all of them. And then, so it's like a year and a half of whips of shame. You know what I mean? So as long as I keep up with this, um, I will, um, I will continue to pick a whip of shame, um, every month. So I'm gonna pull two of them out, but this is where I want you guys to participate. I want you to tell me which one you want me to do in the month of June, and you have until the last day to comment with this part that it will actually mean something. Will be May the 31st. On May the 31st, towards the end of the night, I will go through, like I'm gonna track it up through then, um, but, um, I will, whichever one has the most votes will be the one that I do. So the first one in the running is Cuddly Bear Quilt. And the second one in the running is Irish Blessing. So, what do I do with them? Are they? Oh, yeah, they are in here. What am I doing? Hang on. There's one. Here's the other one. Okay, so the first one up is Cuddly Bear Quilt. Uh, this was a stamped blanket that I bought like 150,000 years ago that needs a new bag apparently because it's breaking. Um... I do have two gallon Ziploc bags. I might get one of those and see if I can get it to fit in there. But this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And this is my starting point with it so far. That's sideways. <laughs> okay, so this is my starting point with it so far. So. I need to finish this cloud, the side border over here, um, okay, so let me show you what I have left. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, let me do this. So, that I know it's hard to see, but I'm, I'm doing a far back one and then I'm going to show you kind of half and half. So I need to finish the outline of this cloud. That star, the side border going down here. I need to finish the back stitching of this of the bear. And then there's the phrase down here. I gotta finish the bear and the little angel that's laying with him. Um, this star, finish the border down to here. This part is done. And then let me flip to back over to this side. Um, let me see. This is all done. Okay, so I have a star here and a star here. Like I said, finish the bear with the angel. 
Oh, so part of, so the top part of the phrase is done and then part of the bottom of the phrase is done, part of the bottom. Um, and then, oh my God. Hang on. There we go. Um, so I have a few more stars here. I just noticed that came out. I got to fix that. Um, and I got to finish this cloud here and meet the border up. So that's that one. Like I said, my whips of shame will be a hundred stitches a day, ideally, unless something comes up and I can't work on it. <clears throat> um, So if, if I can work on it every night and I do a hundred stitches a day, I mean, it might be more because if, like I said, if I have, um, if I end up needing to finish the thread on my needle, oh my God, I can't put that back in the back. I got it's making too much noise. Um, if I, uh, have thread on my needle, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So it might end up being more than a hundred. Um, so if I can, but if I can do a hundred a day on it, then it would get either one of these pieces. It will be 3000 stitches. I feel like I have less to do on that one than this one. Like I feel like that blanket is further along than this one. So the other one up for grabs up, up or in the running is a kit from Artiste I bought a long time ago. Um, this is Irish Blessing. And that is what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is my starting point with it. That's my starting point. So I have part of the phrase completed. I have three lines of the phrase completed. So I have to do the other three lines and then I have to do all of this here. So there is a lot more to be done on this one than the quilt. I feel the same, like, you know how you, you're like, oh, well, you know, I like all my projects. Okay, well, yeah, I like all my projects too. That's why I'm working on them. Um, but of course there are some that you like more than others, right? I like them both equally. So I am okay with either one. I was sitting here I, before I filmed, I was thinking, watch me pull something that I am kind of meh about. And then one that I'm like, Ooh, I wouldn't mind working on this one. And then everyone picks the one I'm meh about. Right. But I feel the same about both of them. So really the thing is going to be, which one would you rather see me work on? Um, and could I potentially, I could get a lot of stitching done on this, right? I could get a lot of progress done on this, but like this whole thing up here, this is full coverage as is like, like this, like that all, this is completely stitched and there's back stitching involved. Um, and then each one of these has a lot of stitching in it, right? So I, would get a lot of progress on this, right? But it wouldn't be done. I don't know exactly how many stitches that bear quilt would be, but that, like how many it has left. But there is a chance I could potentially have that quilt completed this month or in June if that was my whip of the month. You see my dilemma now? Because at first I was like, oh, well, this will be, you know, this will probably be easy to kind of compare the two. So I would get a lot of progress done on Irish Blessing. However, there is possibly a chance that I could get that quilt done in the month of June if that was my whip of shame. If not done, pretty darn close. And if it was pretty darn close, I probably would keep it out until it was completed. Or I would do extra on it to get it completed. Because, um, I mean, yeah. 
So you guys let me know in the comments which one you want to see me pull out. Um, I'm okay with either one. I would be kind of excited to have another finish and get that done and out of the way. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know. And then on May the 31st, I will, um, I will look at the comments. And so it'll be a surprise for my first June video, um, which one I ended up starting or not starting, you know, but working on. Okay. So Cuddly Bear Quilt or Irish Blessing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull my projects out. I'm gonna pull two weeks of projects out just in case I cannot film on Thursday. We're gonna pull two weeks of projects out. And if I pull out one of those two whips of shame, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work on it. We'll bypass it because it, yeah, anyway. Okay, so first up is Cake Shop. And this is gonna be a bit of a hot mess because I have all my projects out because of all the filming I'm gonna to do today. This is gonna be a disaster. Cake Shop. Okay, this is a retired chart from Pain-Free Crafts. Artwork is by Steve Crisp. 600 by 450. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And so I don't really need to show you the fabric, but um, because it's gonna be a new start, but I'm probably gonna do it, I don't know if I'm gonna do it one over one or two full cross or two over one half cross it's kind of small it's like 30 count maybe so maybe i should do maybe i should do one over one full cross i'll probably do that i'll probably just do it one over one full cross if i even work on it who knows okay let me put that over there so we'll pull out um We're gonna pull out like 15 projects, make it nice and even, or a nice round number in a way. It's not even, 15 is an odd number, but I don't know, I think like five oh, groups, like five, 10, 15, so. All right, next up is Sea Turtle. This is from Stitching Jewels Design. Is this it right here? Yep. Okay, this is from Stitching Jewels Design on Etsy. It's a monochromatic piece. I am doing it in 310. And it is, let me find the measurements of it. It's 270 by 150. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I am starting off at Whoopsies. I am starting off at 13.2% done so far. I'm doing this uh, two strands full cross on a uh, 18 count Lugana. No, I lied. 18 count Ada in the color Coastal. And how, how the hell does this go? Shit. Goes like this. 18 count. Uh, Ada in the color Coastal by Picture This Plus. So I'm starting at 13.2%. My only regret is I wish I would have done this in like a shade of gray as opposed to just straight up black, but that's okay. I have 1,100 stitches on it so far out of 8,334. So I have about 7,200 stitches left on it. Okay, next up. Oh. Nightingale. This would also be a new start. This is from um, Mirabilia. 
Let me think of where it is. Not in there, that's for sure. Oh, let me, hang on one second. Let me pull my mermaids out real quick so I can put my Krennic in it. Bear with me one moment. Let me do this while I'm thinking about it. There we go, okay. Nightingale. So, like I said, this is uh, from Mirabilia. That is what she's gonna look like when she's done. I am going to stitch her on a 28 count uh, Lugana in the color Dusk. I don't know who dyed it because I got it from 123 Stitch and it doesn't have the dyer on it. Does it? I don't think it does. I lost the sticker. But that's the fabric. I think she's gonna look really good on it. I have everything I need for her. Maybe I'll actually get her started. I keep pulling her out and I don't work on her. Um, but I have the, like she's got a DMC and I got the bead pack. And the last thing I needed was the Fancy Floss and it was just one. It was a Karen Water Lilies in the color Ink which I got, so I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go. So maybe I will go ahead and get her started. Maybe I should pull out 10 projects. That would give me a chance to like get caught up on my hate style. Plus, I'm really going to try to sit, um, film on Thursday. I'm going to pull out 10 projects. I'm not going to pull out 15. Um, oh, wait. This is one of my whips of shame, so I'm not... I'm not. If it's in my whip of shame pile, I'm... No, I probably could. We'll do that. We'll do it. Proverbs. Oh, where is it? A really old piece from uh, the Just Cross Stitch magazine, February of 2016. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I have all this done. I just have to finish this part down here. And I'm doing this on a fabric that I despise but it's one of those things where I'm at the point where I am like determined to get it done. So that's where I'm at with that so far. See? So. And it just calls for the MC. Okay, number four. Bless this nest. That's another one from my whip of shame pile. I worked on it for a few stitches when I moved, like 50 stitches, if that. Um, that is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And this is my starting point. Here we go. Normally I'd say, oh, I'm gonna try to work on this part here, but I tend to do the exact opposite. So I'm just not, because you would think I'd be like, oh, let me see if I can get the bottom half of it, work on the bottom half and get the bottom half done. But you know, that's, I tend to do the exact opposite of what I'm gonna say. So I'm just not gonna say where I'm gonna work because I don't know. All right, so that is number five, right? Two, three, four, five. Yep, that was number five. Okay, number six. Am I, 
pulling from the right basket. I, this is the third one that's in my whip of shame pile in her garden. pulling from the right basket. It's just weird. This is a Dimensions Gold collection called In Her Garden. That is what she's going to look like when she's done. And I'm just using whatever came in the kit. Make sure I'm showing you the right direction. That's my starting point with her. I did a center start. And yeah. So there's that one. That's my starting point. Number eight, Cherry Blossom Creek. This will be a new start as soon as I find it. Here it is. A, another Dimensions Gold collection. And I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to do whatever comes in the kit. And that is what it's going to look like when it's done. really pretty. I'm excited for this one. I think I might try to map it out and maybe do like a corner start. But I do like starting in the corner. All right, number nine. Let's talk stitching. This is from Hands On Design. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I am doing this on a 16 count black Ada. And this is my starting point. Yay! I do like this one a lot. Okay. So I believe this should be number 10. This, this should be my last one. I hope it's a good one. Oh, happy day. Twisted band sampler. I showed it to you when I was showing my whips. So it is, let me see. Here's my two focus pieces. Uh, twisted band sampler. This piece right here. So I'm going, so if I work on this, I will finish this band out and then start on the next one. I'm not gonna pull it out because I just showed you like a little bit ago. So that's exciting. Okay, so I have those 10 pieces and then my whip of shame for May, which is Frederick, and then I want you guys to vote on which one you want me to work on for June. Um, if I film, let me see something real quick. If I film on Thursday, if I film on Thursday, that will still be May. So let's do this instead of May the 31st. Let's do this instead. If I do two weeks, you have until the 31st. But if another video pops up before then, I'm gonna probably cut it off then. Um, but um, if I can film on Thursday, I will go ahead and just pick my, like see which one won. We're gonna say the content, the, the voting ends on Thursday the 30th. 
I, if I can film Thursday evening, I will uh, say who, which one is the winner. And then I will start that to be my whip of shame for the month of June. Um, yeah. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. Because, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try to film on the 30th. We'll have to see. And, uh, but yeah. So vote which one you want me to do. Either Cuddly Bear Quilt or Irish Blessing for my Whip of Shame for the month of June. Again, Cuddly Bear Quilt could potentially be a finish in June. Maybe. Or pretty darn close to one. Um, because I feel like that one is a lot further along than Irish Blessing is. Irish Blessing, I could get a lot of progress on it. Um, but the stuff in the border is a lot of stitching. So it would not, I do not believe that would be a finish. I don't think. Um, so I'm going to film my whip parade. I'm going to film my summer picks. I'm going to film a flip through from the Catitudes book. Um, I need you guys to pick a whip of shame. And, oh, one last thing I wanted to run by y'all. So, um, I was debating on if I was going to do some, not really tutorials, but like kind of some how-to videos of stuff like, you know, how to, um, like how to, uh, read a pattern, how to kit up a piece like you know if you find a pattern you like what do you have to look for what do you need to know to get it how to change the dimensions like not the dimensions but like if you wanted to if the pattern calls for 14 count fabric but you saw this other fabric or you know what you want to make it smaller you want to make it bigger you want different fabric how do you go about making sure that you have enough fabric um stuff like that. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not, I, I don't know if I really want to call it tutorials. It's just more of, you know, this is how I know how to do it. And I want to share that with you. Um, I have been putting it off for a while because I know that there's a lot of tutorials out there. Some are good, some are really good, and some are not really so good. Um, but uh, I was like, I felt like if I did them, I would be, I, I, in my head, I was kind of thinking, well, I'm just going to be a copycat if I do it too, because there's so many of them out there. But then I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, there's a reason why there's so many how-to books in the world. And I was watching this one, she's not a floss tuber, but I was watching this one chick on YouTube and she was talking about how she kind of got into the types of videos she was doing and she felt, she had the same feelings that I did. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be able to really kind of contribute anything new to this like kind of aspect of it because there's so many good ones out there. And then she was like, but you know what? She said, then I thought about it and I was like, you know, I feel like I do have something I could contribute. And not everybody watches everybody else. Like I know that I've never seen every single how to cross stitch video out there. Um, and some people explain things differently than the way I would. And I feel like I can, I know I ramble a lot, but I did one tutorial about parking and there are a lot of parking tutorials out there, but I've gotten some really, really great feedback on my parking tutorial. Um, and, and I know that I can explain things so that people, well, so that people can understand what is going on. Um, and I think that stems from my medical background, having to explain medical procedures and medical conditions to a non-medical person, um, like changing phrasing or changing wording um, so that it's easier for the other person to understand. Um, so I feel like I probably could contribute to the tutorial aspect of Floss Tube. Uh, so I was kind of thinking about doing that. 
Um, I would probably, and I would probably end up, if I do multiple videos, I'll probably end up making a playlist with my parking tutorial and then like the other ones listed. Uh, I would definitely do a video on how to, I don't know if I would have to break it up into multiple videos, but basically how to read a cross stitch chart, like what to look for, and also like how to kit something up, like, uh, you know, if you want to uh, change your fabric or change your floss or what have you. And I need you guys' input in what you would want to see because all of us are cross stitchers. Like, you know, I've been stitching since I was eight years old and I'm now 43. It's been a long time. I don't know everything. And sometimes you, and you learn new stuff all the time. Like just over the past like four years, I learned about the loop start. Actually, I learned about the loop start in high school, but I brushed it off. <laughs> this old lady taught me the loop start back when I, back in the nineties. And I'm like, this is stupid. I just kept doing what I did. But um, I learned about waist knots, loop starts. I don't use the waist knot, but I know how to do it. Um, I learned about um, how to do a, a odd strand loop start, like a three strand or a one strand loop start. I learned how to do that from watching other people's videos. So it's like, even though I've been stitching for 30, 35 years, I don't know everything. There's always something to learn. And I like watching how other people do things like diagonal stitching or parking or cross country or, you know, whatever. Um, because you never, you can combine a bunch of styles into something that works for you. So I would like y'all's opinions about what type of video would you enjoy watching? Tutorial, how to, how I do it, whatever. If you just tell me what you would like to see regarding this like kind of how to playlist to give me some ideas on what to do. Um, because I don't want to be doing a, but like these videos. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I start doing all these videos and everyone's like, I, I, I don't care about that. I, I don't want to watch that. Um, so I want to hear from you what you would want to see regarding like a how to or a tutorial, or, you know, just kind of something along those lines. Um, and that will kind of give me some ideas about what types of videos I should kind of focus on first. Yeah, because I would like to, I would like to do that. I think it would be fun and it would give you a break between my update videos. So, uh, yeah, so your, y'all's homework, my viewers, your homework is to check out the floss tubers that I linked down below and, uh, give me a vote as to which whip of shame you want to see Irish blessing or cuddly bear quilt and tell me what kind of how to or tutorial videos you would like me to do. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, also I said I was going to do a flip through of the catitudes book. Uh, I have multiple cross stitch books. I don't know where they are though. Oh, they're in my bottom drawer. Hang on. Oh, it's too much to get them out. I have <coughs> books, other books, like the cross stitch ones and everything, um, that if, oh, they're right there. <laughs> they're on top of my desk in the corner. Um, if you want me to do flip throughs of those as well, um, I can. It's cross stitch for the earth, cross stitch for the soul, cross stitch for the heart. Um, I have 101 best love designs from cross stitch and cr country crafts. I also have this really old Christmas portraits book from a long time ago. Um, but if you guys want to see any of those flip throughs, just let me know and I'll do one. I don't want to do it and then nobody watches it. You know what I mean? So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got to say for today. So leave me, leave me comments down below. Let me know what you want to see and, um, I will get cracking on it. Uh, stay tuned for my whip parade and also for my summer picks video. Those will be going up over the next day or two. 
um, because I'm going to get this thing edited and start uploading it and then I will film the other then I will film the other two the other stuff anyway take care happy stitching and maybe you'll get a floss tube from me next week fingers crossed uh, or on Thursday I should say maybe Friday anyway Take care, happy stitching, get a lot of stitches in, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.